Come see us at FinTech South. It's going to be the best thing you've ever seen. Be there. Welcome to FinTech South and glad to be with everybody once again in 2021. And Invesco QQQ is proud to be the platinum sponsor of the event. You see, Atlanta truly influences everything. Our DNA has made its way to every nook, cranny, corner, marketing meeting, boardroom, and block. We been had something to say, and the world has been watching and listening, whether they admit that or not. Fintech South is something you do. The more you engage, the more value you'll get in return. Our virtual event platform, Brella, is an AI-powered tool to help you make the right connections within the Fintech South community. I'm here today at the Federal Reserve of Atlanta. The Federal Reserve of Atlanta has played a pivotal part in how we think about money and transactions. I'm Bill Van Curen, Chief Information Officer at NCR and the Senior Vice President for IT Services. I'm also serving as the Advisory Board Chair for TAG this year, and I'm super excited about FinTech South this year. So David, this is my first time here at the NCR Global Headquarters. Welcome. It is an unbelievable experience to walk in here, um, and it's really, a, a great addition to the Atlanta skyline. We've got to talk a little bit about where we are. We're on the west side of Atlanta in the On the Rise Financial Center. Tell me about Equifax's role in this great organization. You're right. We're at On the Rise here in the west side of Atlanta. Uh, Equifax is a lead sponsor to this great organization. All right. Well, hello, FinTech South. Great to be back with you. It's been two years since I was in Atlanta. We are not in Atlanta right now. Jim, before we start with introductions, there's a breeze. I don't think this is a Zoom not background. Not a Zoom background. I, I hear a jet occasionally. You want to share with everyone where we are today? Yeah, thanks, man. Great to be here at uh, FinTech South virtually. We're actually here at PayPal Park. This is the home of the San Jose earthquakes. And we thought this would be a great place to talk about the future of commerce, the future of payments and look forward to having a great dialogue with you today. Anna, can you talk about what we might expect from the on the ESG ETF front? Sure, absolutely, Eric. Uh, this, is, this is a really good question. He is co-founder and executive chairman of Pindrop, the co-founder of Tech Square Labs, a member of the Investment Committee for SoftBank Community Fund, and the co-founder and managing partner of Panoramic Ventures, one of the largest tech venture funds headquartered in the South. And like me, he was a resident of Graves Hall, freshman on his dorm at Morehouse College in 1995. I had to throw that in there. Welcome, Dr. Paul Judge. How you doing, my man? Appreciate it, man. Good Always to see you. Always good to see you. I learned that Tui speaks four languages, and, and she actually went to Brazil and to the University of Sao Paulo, my alma mater, to learn Portuguese. And, uh, you know, being a Brazilian living in the U.S., uh, I know that's very rare. So Tui, uh, I mean, Talk to us a little bit about that global mindset of yours that's pretty unique and how you apply that to your role at Shopify on, as a senior product uh, the lead. Absolutely, definitely. Well, first of all, I have to say that um, Brazil is a very special place and you are uh, lucky to be from there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of the most gorgeous countries um, I've ever spent time in. Hello and welcome to everyone watching FinTech South 2021. My name is Julia LaRoche. I'm a correspondent for Yahoo Finance and I'm pleased to bring to you this outstanding panel, Spectacular Women Writing Blank Checks for the Future of FinTech. So you guys have been teasing this news that you have. Patrick, what is the news? Yeah, well, great to be on with you, Penny. Uh, Penny, and thank you, Byron and FinTech South. But yes, very excited to share today that uh, Nidig and Pfizer are announcing a, a partnership together. We're working to roll out a, a suite of Bitcoin products and services for the FIs that Pfizer serves, starting with our Bitcoin trading platform to make it unparalleled access and ease for consumers to be able to buy, sell, and hold Bitcoin together. And just very excited about the partnership, where we are today, and, and the, the roadmap down the road. Well, you'll all be surprised to see that the winner wow. is actually Pauline 
with, oh no, wait, is that right? 37%, 34%, yes, it must be, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> but you know, only one of you will be able to win the $25,000. And the winner is, are you all ready? Unit. Philip Aubrey, you join us up here. There you go. That's great. Congratulations. Congratulations. $25,000 check. And as the winner of the 2021 FinTech South Innovation Challenge, you join an exclusive group of successful FinTech companies. I look at Cardlinux today, we never had more ways to grow than we have today. And when I look at the, the runway the company has, this is a company that could be growing at 40, 50, 60% for many, many years to come. Why is Atlanta the right place to expand? You know this is one of my favorite questions. Absolutely. Why Atlanta? And what do you see for the future of FinTech in this region? So of course I'm a big supporter of Atlanta, but there's a real reason for that. The FinTech ecosystem here is truly unparalleled anywhere in the world. You know, one of the unique advantages of having FinTech South done virtually is the ability to host our sponsors, our partners, and attendees from all around the globe. And this year, we're excited to have individuals from across 20 countries with us today. Hello, and welcome to Steve Review's five minute breakdown of FinTech in EMEA. I've been tasked with breaking down the biggest industry movements this year across two huge continents. So wish me luck, buckle in, and let's get cracking. Is that a bit culture shock? What were kind of the biggest differences there in terms yeah. of in terms of getting stuff done? Because Starling seemed to, it yeah. wasn't the move fast and break things you see in the likes of Revolut, but yeah. it was move fast and get things done. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have a bite first, but this, this should be interesting. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like hot from the moment you bite it. Like that's your sign that it's really hot. <laughs> it's really good though, but very spicy. Whew. Really good. And I have no love. Welcome everyone to Crazy Good Turns, a podcast that recognizes and celebrates people who do great things for others. No child in this country should not have access to a great financial education. They also should be fed, by the way. But every single child, regardless of their color or zip code, deserves a quality financial education. I wake up every morning dumb enough to believe I'm the one to do it, and I dare anybody to stop me. What is it about business and tech that, that inspires you? Man, I'm just a competitive person, man. The competition of it. When you see that you have Georgia Tech right here in our backyard, and you see all of the young talent and people that are so hungry. And you know, you, you hear about Silicon Valley and you hear about all the great things that have happened in the history that's happened there. And then you're like, man, how can we do to the tech industry the same way that Hollywood is now here in Atlanta and we've almost taken complete control and taken over with the movie industry and television industry here, we can do the same thing with tech.